Hey everyone, Erica from Lavender and Twine here. If you've been following me for some time, you know that I usually film videos for my own patterns, which you can find linked inside the patterns when you purchase. But this time I wanted to do something a little bit different, and I created a video series on the Quilted Alice shoulder bag for my good friend Alexis over at Aura Rosa Patterns. This is the intro video to the pattern series for the Quilted Alice shoulder bag seen here. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about the pattern and how it comes together. First off, there are three different options for exterior treatments on the bag. This one is the quilted option where I've sewn in this beautiful design based on the directions in the pattern. The second option is to do a rivet tufting option, which is a very cool technique where you'll end up having many rivets on the exterior of the bag, which creates kind of a tufted look. And the third option is to actually leave the panels plain. And I have an example of a plain Alice shoulder bag right here where I left the entire exterior panel free of any treatment at all and that is recommended if you have a print that you don't want to cover with tufting or quilting. In the pattern the stabilizer used for the plain bags is Decoville Light. However you can also use foam and that's what I've done here is I've used foam because I actually really like the kind of squishy give that this bag has when you use foam. And it's also a lot easier to construct when you're able to crunch the bag a little bit, it bounces right back. So I definitely say foam is a great option for this bag. When you're doing the quilted or rivet tufted option, you wanna definitely use the foam. And that is going to help give that nice dimension that the quilting gives because the foam is a little bit on the thicker side. All of the stabilizer stays out of the seam allowance though, so you don't have to worry about bulk in the seams. The next thing that I wanted to mention is that for this blue quilted bag, this is the one that I am making in the video instructions. I did the connectors a little bit different from the instructions in the sense that I painted the edges of the connector. Now I have the full tutorial included in this series of how I edge paint my vinyl edges. But in the pattern, what she has you do is actually fold the edges under and then top stitch so that they're not left raw to paint. And I created this bag to show here that the edges of my connector here are folded under. And the directions for that are in the written instructions of the pattern. I also want to point out that the cut chart in the pattern has three different lengths for the handle piece. Now this is the long handle, which is the 20 inch handle. And here I have the medium length handle, which is the 16 inch handle. So when you come to the handle options in the cut chart, just know that you only need to cut one of the three lengths for your handle. You don't have to cut all three. Once again, this is Erica from Lavender and Twine, making the Quilted Alice shoulder bag by Oro Rosa Patterns. Thanks so much again for clicking on this video series. I hope that it's helpful for you and I hope that you enjoy. Thanks.